just uh, picking up a few um, supplies on our friends Joseph South Westland uh, hunting trip 2020. Just been into hunting and fishing, got some Stony Creek goodies. So we're looking like we've got about a whole week of good weather. Just looking, going through here, looking at the, all the Alps and everything, look like they've got fair blue sky, so hopes are high. V might get her 13 inch ball <laughs> this year. Are you going to get your 13 inch ball back? Hopefully. You might get one too. I might. I might get two 13 inch balls. <laughs> Bloody exhaust pipe coming apart on the way over here, so we've been listening to this. All the way since before Camara. So this is our room for the night. We come here all the time. Um, and we can highly recommend it. There's probably other good motels in Franz Joseph, but this is the Aspen Court. And it's always top notch. Underfloor heating, radiator, TV. Look at that. You even get wee complimentary bickies. This is the room with the spa bath. Morning time at the Aspen Court. Looks primo. Primo day. Go and get some breakfast. Then fly in. It's a cool machine. Right, here we are. So, um, it wasn't the original plan that someone else would have been in here before us, but we'll hunt here for a few days. Looks like there's good access. And then, um, if we don't have any luck, we might get dropped over into one of the other creeks nearby. But what a beautiful basin. Looks uh, like there's plenty of access, but they are up high, no snow. <laughs> That's alright. We're a bit fitter than we were last year. Right. Setting up camp. We always um, seem to put the tent up the wrong way the first time. It's a bloody good wee camping spot. Nice and um, nice and flat. It's fairly easy to get the pegs in. Most important part. The wee fire set up. <laughs>
So if anybody's wondering, we fully recommend these MIA tents. Certainly wouldn't go back to using my little Alpine tent anytime soon. Always carry that as an emergency option. But this, um, so much room. You can stand up, you can get changed, you can dry out, warm up. Just like that. Home for a week. All done. Time for a cup of tea. The animal spotted. Just up in there. Uh, where are we? Up in there. Quite accessible actually. Just a nanny or a young bull. Not sure yet. I just looked through the binoculars. But it's a damn good start because that was about 30 seconds of looking around. It's cooling down a bit now. Um, we're just going to make a plan for what we're going to do tomorrow, really. Just spotted one. I'll get me binoculars. See him coming down. That was a moment's excitement. That was the lowest um, tail was seen today. Coming down quite quick actually, and probably be reasonably accessible. Not tonight, unfortunately, but um, he looked old, almost like he was, almost like he was past his his prime a wee bit. But looks like he's coming to come back. Yeah, he's heading our way, so yeah, it's lifted the spirits a wee bit. A wee bit hungry, don't we? Oops. So my experiment tonight, V had the idea of putting some small rocks in the bottom of the fireplace to get the fire off the bottom of the because they're a flat bottom fireplace. Bloody beautiful. So, so far the rocks in the bottom of the MIA are working a wee treat. There's been a few explosions, but I'll just open it up and throw the wood in real quick. Oh, that's so hot. That's awesome. It's starting to glow. Don't know whether the GoPro picks it up very well, but it's just got a good glow on. Dry wood. It's the key. Breakfast time. What have we got? Bacon. Baked beans. All the one with the little sausages in it. Got those scrambled eggs. Got another perler of a day. So we're going to have some breakfast. And then we're going to head up into the basin see what we can see. Just because you're in the hills doesn't mean you can't eat good. Hey v. That's right. Let's go hunting. Are you right. leading? No. Or me? Oh. It's been a steep foot climb out of camp, hey v. Been good. Um, we've been doing a wee bit of fitness work on the bikes for the last, well since Christmas I suppose, and it's paying off. We're a lot fitter than we were last year. No tar seen. We think they must be bedded down for the day now, but we live in hope of finding that one dopey little tar that decides it wants to stay down lower feeding all day. If nothing else, we get to have a good look round. What's it like? So we um, stopped here, glass. 
and we've seen a few tar, which is good. Sort of um, up on the granite up there along the top and one a little bit further down. Just piqued my interest a little bit. So we're going to flip up to this next um, ridge line up here, up on the rocks here, and we'll have some lunch, a cup of tea, and do some glassing from there. Should be a plan. So we're nearly, nearly at the um, ridge where we want to stop and have some lunch. Uh, well, I said earlier we've seen some tar up, up here, so it's got us a wee bit more positive. But um, it's quite a steep climb, we've come a long way up, but since we got onto this sort of smaller rocks and that, it's actually been really good going. I thought it would be a lot more difficult than it is, but making good progress. Uh, just about to go flat on my face after I say that. So yeah, lunch in a glass, and hopefully we can get some tar on film. Look at that. That's why we do it. I mean, the tar, yeah, we want to shoot some tar, but we'll spend a week up here without even seeing an animal. And this will be well worth it, wouldn't it? So we've made it to our spot we're gonna have lunch if we can find some oh yeah nice spot to sit over in there and it's like up on a big big sort of moraine wall really and then it drops down into the very top of the basin what a beautiful beautiful spot we finally made it to the basin the tar that we've been seeing I think it's still up there not, not too far up I think this will probably be where we we hang out for the day and do some glassing. Got a cool rock fall coming down off the off the other side there. Don't know whether you can see it on the GoPro. Straight across there. You can see the rock coming down through the snow. So what was that? About a 640-ish? 640, 650 yard shot. We think we may have hit that nanny. Um, I think, yeah, we'll have to wait until we get home and have a look on the on the camera. I'd hoped that it was going to slide down the hill, but that didn't happen. But there was a few balls up there and there was one that actually looked really good. But once again we decided to let them move. Even if they came down they would have smashed to pieces. So now because we've only got one light between us, because someone forgot their light. <coughs> We're going to head back down just in case we have a light malfunction. And um, yeah, it'll be dark by the time we get to camp I think. But really disappointed with the numbers in here. That's probably, probably saw 10, 10 for the whole day, eh? No matter, on all of this country, at any height, 10 tar is not a lot for a whole valley. Apparently we're overrun with them. Not in here we aren't. <coughs> no. But on the bright side it's one of the nicer valleys that I've under them. Day three and no tar. I reviewed the hunting, the shooting footage of that um, nanny from yesterday and I must have gone over it. I reckon it looked like only a couple inches over its back so it wasn't too bad for that range just something in the elevation wasn't quite right or could have been shooter error so I don't think it's worth going back up the valley today so what we thought we might do is go and have a wee look across the valley stuff the hunting just eat the yeah we're just gonna eat bacon and eggs well we'll go across from camp it's not looking too good the way that we thought we could get up on this ridge line, which is pretty steep. 
Um, yeah, don't know about that. But the good thing is, getting a bit of height over here, we should be able to glass down the valley a little bit. We're not seeing very many um, tar, but there's a couple of nice blue ducks. Three nice blue ducks. Hey. What a slippery um, we track we've come across there. So I, w I went out, I put my foot down beside it, I think. I, no, no, on that other little one there beside it, towards me. So I put my right foot. And then I actually reached out and put my hand on that brown boulder. If you put your foot down and wedge it in beside that rock, and then you put your, you lean over and put your hand on the brown boulder. That's right, that'll work. Put your foot in there. Yep, now you put your hand on the boulder, on the brown boulder. So you're supporting your weight with your hand. Yep, now, now step forward with the other foot. Now climb onto that with your whole body and hug it like it's a sexy thing. That's the one. Piece of piss. I'm pretty sure we've got to climb, get back across further up Why? to get get up the river. Good to see a few of these wee characters around. Well, it's not tar, but it's a nice bit of steak cooked on the, the fire. Bloody beautiful. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be tar. Hopefully. Yep, the new plan is we're going out today, 4.30. So. It's pack up time. What a beautiful valley to be leaving. Unfortunately, the hunting just hasn't been there. But we'll go and um, make the most of this weather. Hopefully bag ourselves a chamois. Or a nice deer. 